Hi friends, welcome to .NET Mob. In this video, we will learn how to connect SQL Server database using C# -Sharp. I will be creating a C# -Sharp console application to explain the things. Even though you can use the same method in any C# -Sharp application, whether it is WPF or Windows Form or ASP.NET MVC application, you can use the same method. In order to create a C# -Sharp console application, go to File, then New. Then project, select Visual C Sharp from left panel, then select console application, then name your application here, then select the location where you want to save the application, then click on OK. So here we have our brand new C Sharp application. Let me show you the database that we are going to connect in this C Sharp application. For that, let me open my management studio. Here we have our dialog box to enter connection details. When we talk about SQL Server connection, it can be accomplished by two types of authentication. First one is Windows authentication and second one is the SQL Server authentication. Windows authentication can only be used if the SQL Server instance resides in our system. For connecting SQL Server instances outside and inside our system, we can use the SQL Server authentication. In order to use SQL Server authentication, we need to provide the username and password. Actually, I have done a video tutorial on how to connect SQL Server using Management Studio and I have put the video link in video description. Please go through that. For now, I will be using Windows authentication. Click on connect. Under databases, you can see our database.net mob. Inside that, we have a table product. It has some rows. And in our application, we will be showing these product names line by line. So let's do that. Now back to Visual Studio. In order to connect SQL Server database from C# -Sharp applications, we will be using an object of the class SQL Connection. So let me declare an object of the class SQL Connection. SQL Connection. So we have to resolve the namespace here for that hold control then press period. So it will suggest some of the uh, namespaces. So we need to use this namespace using system.data.sql client. Click on it. Then object name will be SQL con equals new SQL connection. Inside this constructor, we need to pass the Connection string. Connection string contains details of SQL Server instance that we are going to connect, then database name. If we are using SQL Server authentication mode, we need to pass username and password for the user. I can show you the syntax of SQL Server connection string. is actually a plain string for so for windows authentication we will start with at the read symbol in order to avoid backward slashes first data will be data source equals machine name backward slash instance name we need to replace the information inside the parenthesis then initial catalog as db name. After that, put a semicolon. Then integrated security equals true. Now for SQL Server authentication. Let me copy the same connection string as that of Windows authentication. Instead of integrated security, we will provide user ID as username and then password as the user password. That's it. 
first of all i'm gonna try windows authentication let me copy the syntax of windows authentication pasting here instead of machine name we can use local or we can use local host or we can use the system name itself in this case i will use local then instance name that is our sql server instance name in my case it is sql e2012 and our db name is dot net mob now i'm gonna retrieve all the product name from our table product for that i'll be using sql data adapter sql da equals new sql data adapter inside that we need to provide the query here select star from product then our sql connection object sql con that's it now we need to create an object of data table for that we need to use the a system dot data namespace object name will be dtbl equals new data table and we are going to fill the result into the table sql da dot fill dtbl okay now we are going to uh, display each pro product name from the table data raw raw dtbl dot rows and inside the loop console dot right lane can be used to print string into the console window so here we are going to uh, display raw inside that we need to provide the uh, column name that will be product name product name then console dot read key now let me run the application so here you can see the product names line by line so we are successfully connected to our sql server database from c sharp here we have used windows authentication connection string instead of that we can use sql server authentication for that we can replace this integrated security equal to true with user id and password and in my case i have a user with username sa and password as 123 let me run the application for that click on this start button so sql server db is connected through sql server authentication now now we learned how to connect sql server database from c sharp applications in order to get database connection string there is a trick in visual studio click on view then server explorer then you can see a window server explorer in the left panel then click on this connect to database button or right click on data connections then click on add connection then select the server here for that you can uh, type the server details here local then backward slash then instance name sql e2012 then select the database dot net mob click on ok then you can see the connected database here with a green plug then right click on the database then click on property it will show a panel on the right side then you can see a property connection string here you can see the complete uh, connection string 
let me copy all of them and pasting here so here you can see the uh, exit data based connection string that we have tried before here i would like to discuss one last point here i have tried to connect sql server instance in my system if you want to connect sql server instance in your network you need to provide the system name here instead of this local it might be dev1 dev2 computer1 computer2 anything else if the uh, sql database in a static server you need to provide the ip address of the server here that's all for today in this video we have discussed how to connect sql server database from c sharp you can download this small console application from the link given below in video description thanks for watching this video tutorial please be subscribe to my channel dot net more for more hours and videos like this and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye